Hey guys, so as promised, I have a Shein haul for you and this is just an edit of some coats and um, some jackets and just some other random pieces that I picked up as well. Not just from Shein, but the majority of this haul is going to be from Shein. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it with the first item and it's just this uh, purple um long coat here and I got this just for reference I got all these coats and jackets in um, the plus size section just because I want one of the pieces to you know be big enough where I can layer you know clothing underneath it because with Shein their sizes tend to run a little small in my opinion really it's, it's hit and miss like some pieces fit just right and then some pieces you know you have to size up so i wanted to be on the safe side so i did order all these pieces actually all these jackets and all these coats in the plus size section so just keep that in mind so this is actually an extra large i think all of these pieces are an extra large but i will tell you the size um and it's just again like i said this purple long coat it's a uh, very roomy like i said i got it you know oversized because i wanted to be able to layer and put you know big jack you know big um you know sweaters underneath it so um yeah it goes down to probably just a little past my knees and i'm like five seven for reference and yeah just some nice purple coat it definitely it's not true to the color that you're seeing it's definitely definitely like a um barney i don't know if you guys remember barney but definitely like a barney purple color is what this um coat is the color of this coat so um, really nice, very good quality. Um, I don't see any threads or anything. It does have like this, uh, these two buttons that you can um, button it up if you need to. And so, yeah, nice. And it's kind of made of like, the fabric is like fleecy kind of material, but um, not really, kind of between, yeah, kind of, I guess it'd be more like fleece fabric. So, and it just has like, this collar detail here. I'm just trying everything on with black just to kind of make things a little bit easy for you. So yeah, so this is the first coat. It does not come with a um, uh, belt, nor does it have pockets. So yeah, that's kind of, if that's a deal breaker for you, then you know, you probably wouldn't want to get this coat, but I hate that it doesn't have pockets. And I've been wanting a purple coat. Zara had one. I think last year and it sold out i wasn't able to get my hands on it so when i saw this on shein i just had to hurry up and you know and snatch it up real quick to add to my coat collection because i love coats and jackets so but the only yeah, only flaws that does not have pockets but other than that it's a nice um quality you know nice quality coat it does not look like it came in came from shein at all it has lining as you can see it does not look like it came from shein it has lining here on the inside of the coat so yeah it's very nice quality coat so if you're looking for you know a pop of color to add to your collection your coat collection then i will say this is a good piece to add to it so yeah that is the first item and again i got this in an extra large all right and here is the next coat that i got and i think again i got this in an extra large and it's just this green and black with like a, some fringing at the bottom here and um, this buffalo check print that um, is very um, very similar to the Dior print that um, is out right now. So this is actually very similar to um, the Dior print. Um, but I've been wanting a you know green and black buffalo check printed coat, and so I saw this in Shein and had to snag it up. And I do love the fringing. Um, it's kind of like a distressed fringing, if you can see that. Um, this one is not well made as the other one, um, as far as the quality. Like, you can see the quality in this one. And there is no lining in, in you know, there's no lining in this. So, um, and it does have, it does have pockets. It does have functioning pockets. You just have to break them open. Um, but this has pockets, so that's a plus. And then it just has, like, these um tortoise shell buttons three tortoise shell buttons so you can button it up and it is i will say this is like a bit itchy and the only reason why i know it is is because i have on a bodysuit and so my arms are exposed to the fabric 
So yeah, it does feel a little itchy. So yeah, um, but I guess in the winter time, you know, in the fall and winter time, you typically have on like a long sleeve shirt with this. So, you know, that's kind of, that'll kind of be the only way you can wear this and be comfortable is if you have on a long sleeve shirt. Um, because like even here, like here in the collar area, I, yeah, I feel the itch. So yeah, I don't know. I may have to return this piece because I'm not about wearing, you know, wearing anything that's going to make me itch or potentially, you know, irritate my skin and break me out. But it does, it does look like it's, you know, good quality but just up close you can just tell it's it's not the quality is not there um but you know maybe it's, maybe maybe it's because it's also kind of a little bit wrinkled like i took this right out the box so i have to kind of press it and you know make it look a little bit more stylish but yeah so this is the next um coat and it does have like the shoulder pads here um so that's an, another little detail that it has to the to the coat um, but it's definitely like a lightweight coat. It's probably not going to keep you warm unless you layer with it. But like I said, I got this in an extra large because I want it to be able to, you know, layer, uh, you know, layer pieces with it. So for me to, to be able to make this work, I'd have to, you know, wear like a turtleneck. So like, again, like, again, like I said, this, this, so this collar wouldn't, you know, aggravate me and, you know, be too itchy. And, you know, that'd be the only way that it, it would work. But yeah. So that is um, the next coat. And it's just this, again, green um, buffalo, you know, plaid printed, um, you know, coat. So, yeah, so that is the next item. And I will show you the next coat. All right, and here is the next coat. And with this one, I got it in, a, um, I think, a 1X because um, I don't think they had extra large in stock. So, and as you can see, it is nice and big and super oversized i mean it goes it's basically like a it's basically like a long trench coat it goes all the way down to my ankles and i have on heels so without the heels it would be even longer so just keep that in mind like i said i'm five seven and this thing is almost dragging the dragging the floor if not for me having the heels on it probably would be dragging the floor so yeah it is super long but it's like in this gray kind of like light gray color it's definitely coming off more light on screen than it actually is but it's just in this light gray color and um it has like these two buttons it has one here that you can so that you can button up so basically double breasted the only thing is like there's a button buttons are way down here and i think it's just because of the way it was constructed you know for over you know for plus size women so and, and and plus it's huge like i can fit a whole nother person in this jacket or in this coat with me but the buttons are down here so that's the only weird thing about it but it is it's not itchy like that last coat that i showed you and it has like this kind of detail here on the cuffs that i think is really nice and uh, you know a good detail and you know the buttons are the same color as the coat and it has um the tie here it has a belt here so that you can cinch it in which is good to kind of give you somewhat of some shape however the belt is way down here on me so again like i said i got this in the plus size section so it's you know it's not really constructed for somebody who is you know not plus size but you, as you can see it has like this um kind of ruffly detail i don't know if you can see that in the back this little ruffle detail here I'm trying to get close to where you guys can see that but that's just another cute little detail um that kind of adds something extra to the coat um and again this does not have pockets and it does not have any kind of lining in it so yeah um so it's just again another layering piece a layering coat i mean i think you could get away with just wearing you know a long sleeve underneath it and you know maybe a scarf and you'll be good but for the most part this is definitely a layering coat and it is super 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 long as you can see it kind of puts me in the mind of a trench coat like from far away kind of looks like a trench but it's made from that again fleecy fabricy material so yeah so i don't know about this one i've been looking for a gray coat for the longest so i don't know if this is the wind or not if i should just keep looking um 
But yeah, you guys let me know what you think of these coats so far. Let me know um, which ones you like, which ones you think I should return. It's just not worth it. So I don't know. When I first got the coat and saw it, I was like, yeah, but now I'm just kind of on the fence about it. But anyway, so yeah, so this is the next item and it's just this long, super, super long um, gray coat. So yeah, so I'll get into the next few items. I think that those are more like jackets. So yeah, let's get into those. All right. And the next item is this blazer and it's like, again, like this plaid print and I love like the burgundy um color that's kind of popping you know through all the gray and the black um i don't i have a blazer similar to this but it's um more so it's red not burgundy so um i thought this would be cute and again i got this in the plus size section and it's in an extra large and here are the buttons it just you know has the two buttons here that you can button it up and yeah this is actually pretty Pretty nice quality, I must say. Um, definitely a good um, blazer if you're, you know, looking for something to wear to work and whatnot. So it does have lining, as you can see. It's like the lining is kind of brown. So yeah, it's a nice coat and or nice blazer that you can add to your blazer collection. It has the shoulder pads here um, to kind of make it more structured. So. Yeah, so I got this in, I think, I got this in an extra large, not sure if I mentioned that. And yeah, so you can dress this up or down. I have it, you know, again, with the same, you know, bodysuit and pants that I've been showing you guys with these pieces. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one to add to my blazer collection. And so if you're interested in this one, I would say out of so far out of all the pieces this is probably the my favorite and probably the one that or most certainly the one that i'm going to keep i'm definitely not going to be taking this one back so if you're looking for a nice quality you know blazer for an affordable price then this is definitely one that you should um, invest in so i really love this blazer i love the colors just so fall and when appropriate so all right, so that is the blazer, and I'm gonna show you now kind of like a shacket, which is like a shirt and a jacket mixed. So let me show you that piece. All right, here is the next piece, and it's just, again, like I said, like a shacket or a, a shirt jacket. And I've been seeing all these shirt jackets or shackets all over Instagram. You know, everybody's blogging about these shirt jackets now, and so I thought I'd, you know, wanna, you know, try to see if I like the trend or whatnot. And to me, if you want to try a trend, Shein is the perfect place to go to, you know, try it out and see if you like it. So, cause it's just, you know, affordable. Um, but it's just like this um, brown, black, say like brown, black, and then like the stripes here are gray. So I just think that's actually a good color combinations are good color combinations to, you know, dress, you know, your dress as far as your wardrobe, uh, black and gray and, you know, caramel looks good together. Those com color combinations look good together. So you just have basically this whole entire, you know, thing or color combination in a um, shirt or shirt jacket. So, um, so with this, as you can see, it does not have a uh, collar. So it's collarless and has no buttons. So you can't, you know, you know, button it up or anything. But I do like the sleeves. It's kind of like this um, billowy sleeve or, I don't know what you call this, like a balloon sleeve. Yeah, like a balloon sleeve. And it goes just to my wrist. So yeah, I have long arms, so that's always a plus. And it's nice and big and oversized, so good for layering. You know, it's a good, very good layering piece. So yeah, I like this little shacket and trying to trend out. I actually have um, some H an H&M haul that I'm gonna be doing soon. Whenever those pieces come in, for some reason, H&M is taking forever to ship now. I don't know what that's all about. Um, they were doing good at one point and now it's just back to just the longest shipping. So I ordered two shackets from H&M. So stay tuned for that haul that will be coming up sometime soon. Whenever I get the pieces, um, I have two shirt jackets or two shackets um, in that haul that I want to show you guys. So yeah, um, anyway, Shein, they have, 
you know, a good selection of these little shackets. If I can find some, I'll try to link them below. But everything that I showed you guys today, I'm going to link down below if you want to, you know, purchase the items and check them out for yourself. But again, like I said, I ordered everything, you know, two, you know, three sizes big. So I had to go to the plus size section. So that's kind of like what you can do if, you know, especially if you're like a large, then I would say go to the plus size section. But if you're like a small, medium, I would say size up, you know, at least two sizes if you want um, the item to fit oversized, especially when it comes to outerwear, because you don't want the outerwear too tight because then you can't put anything underneath it. So, but um, yeah, so this is the final um, clothing piece that I got from Shein and just this nice, very, you know, layerable um, jacket. So, yeah, so I'm going to show you a few other pieces that I got. They're not clothing, but just... Um, some shoes and a few, two handbags that I wanted to show you guys in this haul since this is a very short Shein haul. So let me show you those pieces. Okay, so the first piece I'm going to show you is this um, purse that I got from Shein. It's just like in this yellow kind of a color and it's very so much so a dupe of the um, Bottega bag and so yeah, I got it for a super affordable, you know, on Shein. And I just, y'all know, I love like the quilted or um, the weave detail in any accessory. So I saw this on another fashion blogger and I thought it was super cute. I think they had this in another color, I wanna say brown. And I just wanted one with a pop of color. And it's, um, even though it's yellow, it's very muted yellow. So I think it just works for the fall and winter time. So. Um, but it just opens up like this and, um, it's pretty spacious. I would say, um, you can get, I, I can for sure get my phone in here and, you know, my wallet. So, um, you know, your, your essentials, you know, what you basically need, but it's just like a snap closure here or a magnetic closure, I should say. So close is super easy. And, um, yeah, so I love this little bag and just had to pick it up. Um, but again, like I said, I think it comes in a brown. So I will link this one as well as a brown one down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, just a cute, you know, statement bag that you can just add to a neutral outfit. Like if you were like me and you like to wear neutral looks, then you can just add on a handbag um, with a pop of color and, you know, make the look a little bit more interesting. So, but yeah, so I love this bag and... I'm definitely gonna keep this one and just thought I'd wanna show you guys this bag. And then I have another one, not from Shein, but from Mango. Let me show that one to you. All right, and this is the next handbag and this is from Mango. I wasn't able to show it in my um, last haul that I did, which was a Zara Mango haul because this came in you know, later than I had um, filmed that video. But it's just a cute black and very elegant and um just chic bag i had it's very vintagey i've been seeing a lot of bags like this out um you know on instagram a lot of uh, fashion bloggers um had a lot of you know bags um that they were featuring similar to this i don't think it's the exact same bag although no i saw one fashion blogger she had featured on her channel and so yeah i had been seeing these bags all over the place and just thought i would you know give it a try and see um, how I felt about the uh, look and it's very vintage so this is you know something that you probably you know would go in your grandma's closet and probably find something similar to this but it just opens up um, you kind of pull it I don't know if I'll be able to even show you guys but yeah I can't show you but it just has like a little um, piece here that you just click click this part open here let me just put it on the ground so I think you just, yeah, like pull this part here up and it opens up. So that's, it's kind of spacious. I probably could fit my phone in here. And like I said, my bare essentials, but, and it is, um, it does have room to expand. So, um, but it's just very vintage. It's, you know, when I saw it, it definitely kind of gave me vintage vibes, but you just close it like that and open it like that. So, but it's very good quality, I think. Um, for what it, you know, from what it is. So I got, again, I got this from Mango and I will link this down below if you're interested in like a vintage, you know, vintage vice bag, but you can probably find something like this at a thrift shop. 
you know, at a thrift store, to be honest with you. But they have it something like this. You know, they have it on Mango if you're, you know, been looking for a bag like this. So, yeah, I wanted to show you that real quick. And then um, I also have some shoes that I just picked up that I just, I love, y'all. If you've been watching me, you know I love shoes. So, yeah, let me show you the shoes that I picked up. That I picked up. All right, and the next item I got were these like cow print shoes and they are just so cute and just so fire to me. Um, I got these, they're from the brand, I don't know if you can see that, um, A Rider Girl, I don't know, but I got them from um, this store called Buckle. They had them actually in the physical store, but they didn't have my size, so I had them um, ordered and shipped to my house. But they're from um, the uh, store or the brand Buckle. Um, and just these like cute and cowboy print, um, booties and yeah, I, I posted these on my, um, Instagram stories and did a poll and I think it was 50, 50 with these boots. So they're kind of boots that you either love or you just, eh, but I just thought they were so cute. I don't know what I'm going to wear them to or when I'm going to wear them, but, um, I, I just love cute boot, you know, boots like that, like with this kind of accent to it it's just kind of like i said you can wear a basic outfit and then pop on these boots and you know you've all all of a sudden elevated your look so they are so cute and very comfortable very much so that cow boy style or western style that um it's not really trendy but i would say you know western western boots just really to me don't really go out of style um but yeah so these are the boots and they're just such you know such good quality and yeah i will try to find these down below and link them as well if you have been trying to find some boots i actually have a throw a throw that's in this color scheme or like that has this print so um yeah all right so that is everything that i want to show you in this haul i think i think i've showed you everything that i've you know that's new to my wardrobe so far for the week um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and um like i said Hopefully my H&M order will come in soon so that I can do my H&M haul because I have like a lot of items that I just picked up from H&M because it had been a while since I've shopped on H&M. I think I haven't gotten anything on there since the summer. So I haven't gotten any, I don't think I've gotten any fall winter pieces. So I just want to check out some of their fall and winter pieces and share them with you guys, which y'all probably have already seen a lot of the pieces because, you know, H&M you know, it sells out quickly. So by the time I, sh you know, the, the items get to me and I show them to you, they probably have gone out of stock. But anyway, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I have a Zara haul and, um, or I think I have two. Not sure how I'm gonna do the hauls, but I do have some Zara hauls and some H&M hauls coming up. So stay tuned for that, you know, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and, you know, turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss a video from me. So that is it. That is the haul. That is she and slash new in my wardrobe haul so thank you guys so much for watching and like i said i will link everything that i showed you um today i will link it down in the description box so be sure to check down below um if you saw some pieces that you like that you wanted to add to your collection so all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye guys mm -hmm.